Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? Really good. Very well, teacher. <laughs> That's perfect. So we are going to continue with the, the week number two because we didn't end that part of the work. So we are going to end the week number two and we are going to begin week number three tomorrow because we have like some, we can call it vacation, but there were not vacation at all. But we are going to um, wait a little for the others to enter the meeting because it's time, but they are going to, to enter the meeting in some moments because I need to explain some things that we are going to do today and with the other day. So we are going to wait like a minute to the others because they are entering the session. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. So we are going to start with this um, with this session. I was saying that uh, we are going to end the week number two because uh, we have like one day uh, left. So we are going to uh, like complete that information that we had about the, uh, the topics that we were developing the last week. And tomorrow we are going to start the week number three because um, we are going to have five days this week. We are going to work the five days from Monday to Friday. So we are going to end the week number two today. And then we are going to have our four days of the week number three. So I'm going to make some changes today um, because um, I was having uh, during the day. Well, I'm not here in my house during the day because I was I was working, but I know that um, we were having like a lot of problems with the connection because today we can say it was the worst day for the internet connection here. And it is supposed that someone is going to, to take care of that because I put like the, the notice of the connection, but um, it didn't happen. So I hope that tomorrow it's going to be that day. And I'm going to use a, a Word document in which I'm going to explain the topics that we are going to develop today. And I'm going to add all that information that, that we are going to develop right now to the Google document. In that case, you are not going to enter that link today because we are going to work in another document. So I'm not going to send you this document because I am going to use it just for the session. And I'm going to add the information to the other document and you are going to find the information there. And why am I using that document in my computer? Because in that case, I need a the connection to work just with Zoom. So in that case, I don't need to like uh, take more internet to the other document and all of the things. Así que vamos a trabajar en este documento eh, que es temporal, que es parte de la computadora, o sea, es un documento en Word. Y vamos a explicar todo el tema que vamos a desarrollar ahora. Y luego yo lo agrego toda la información al documento de Google Docs. Y Ustedes van a encontrar siempre la información ahí, como lo hemos estado haciendo estas dos semanas. Así que por esa parte no se preocupen, sino que es para eh, asegurar que no se vaya la conexión, no se trabe, no se escuche raro en all of the things. So, 
we are going to begin this um, week. Because it's Monday, we are going to begin with a phrase that is uh, like tradition for me to give you a phrase for the week. So we are going to have this a, a phrase in this week that is, you have been given this day to use as you will. This kind of phrases you can use when you are going to begin with your day. In this case, it is like almost the end of the day, but it is for tomorrow. You have been given this day to use as you will. You can use your time as you want and you can make it worth it because you are going to use all that time that you have, the 24 hours to work on your projects or to do all your work or to do all the things that you need to do to achieve your goal. So every day you can say that to you, you have been given this day or I have this day to use as I need, as I want and as I will. Así que ahí tenemos nuestra frase para esta semana. Usamos el tiempo a nuestro favor. Tenemos el día para hacer todas nuestras actividades y organizarnos para poder hacer todo lo que deseamos. So, what is the topic that we are going to develop today? And I think we are going to have like a part of this topic for tomorrow. But let me, let me tell you something about tomorrow because I am going to create with you because you are going to uh, help me to create this vocabulary. We are going to create a vocabulary today. It is not like uh, a vocabulary related to food or animals or something like that. No, it is a, a kind of serious, kind of interesting vocabulary. And we are going to have like a game tomorrow. I'm going to uh, share with you um, a code in which you are going to access to a specific website. You can do it in your cell phone, that is okay. There are no problem and you don't need to uh, make a lot of things to register. You are just going to enter with your, uh, your account, your normal account. Um, and the system will give you a random name. In that case, it is not going to be just like your, your real name. In that case, it's a, a random name because it's going to be kind of funny. And we are going to have like a vocabulary in that game. And you are going to write the English name of that word because I have it in Spanish and you are going to write it in English. But the interesting thing of this game is that you have time. You are going to have just 20 seconds to write the word in English. But don't say that, oh my God, I cannot do it. Because you are going to have the vocabulary in the document. We are going to work in the vocabulary and there are very basic words that you already know. And you are going to see. But that's for tomorrow. So need to pay attention to the vocabulary that we are going to create today. So the first thing that we are going to do today is to listen to a short vocabulary. And you are going to find what is the topic for today, listening that vocabulary. And also you are going to see the topic in, in the platform. So. Give me time to uh, stop this one. And I'm going to share the, the platform in which we have the vocabulary. We're going to listen the pronunciation two times, and then we are going to give a general information about the topic. And also we are going to begin with the vocabulary. So we are going to go there, sharing the sound. And here it is. It's called vocabulary, geography. We are going to talk about geography. Vamos a hablar de geografía. So 
we are going to listen this short vocabulary that we have here. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River, valley, volcano, waterfall, words, listen first and then repeat each word, beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, Ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, we have like a short a list of words that we can use to the topic geography and i'm going to uh, put the image the same image that we have on the platform on the document that we are going to develop uh, today because we are going to use that information also for the creation of the vocabulary so i'm going to put it like this and i'm going to share again the document so we have here this image that is the one that we have on the platform um, in which we can see some things part of the nature, but in this case, they are related to the geography or topics related to that part. In this case, we are going to feel like uh, we are in school talking about these uh, topics because we are going to um, give that attention to that names again vamos a sentirnos que estamos en sociales en la materia de sociales because we are going to talk about that things uno de los temas más importantes de sociales son los relieves so here we are going to remember all the information that we have about this kind of topic so in this case we have like a very short uh, list of words related to geography and we have beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, and waterfall. They are like the most common words that we can find in conversations and in audios and videos and something like that. But with the list that we are going to create, it is not like a long, long list, but they have like more details about the uh, words related to the to geography and also we are going to have a meaning and we are going to write it in spanish because we are learning a, a vocabulary so it is necessary to know what is the word in spanish to make the change in our minds when we are going to use it because in that case that um i'm going to learn something but i don't know what is that a word so I don't know in which moment I can use that word. So in this case, we are going to have three things about this vocabulary, but we are going to have like a short introduction about the word geography. That is the first thing that we are going to do. So give me a second. So we are going to have like the topic that we already know that is geography but i need to make it like a little bigger because it's too small and it is not comfortable for us and i'm going to give you this one 16 that's perfect so the topic that we are going to develop is geography 
And we are going to have it like this, vocabulary. Okay, so in this case, we have a question that is very, very basic question. What is a geography? What is geography? Some of you or someone wants to tell me what is geography or what is the idea that you have about geography? Now, some ideas about geography. Tell me, Aleli. The USA biography is the map, the map. Ah, we can use the map for this topic. Yes. Mm. Um, Let's see, a word that you can remember when you talk about geography, a word, una palabra que les recuerde la, esta main word, the geography. Tierra. Mm -hmm. The earth. Okay, don't worry, we are going to create things right now. So, it is related to the air, yes, and we can use maps, good. So, what is in reality the geography? It is the study of the physical features of the earth and its atmosphere and of human activity. In this case, we are going to talk about the earth, we are going to talk about the atmosphere, and also we are going to talk about a human activity. Those topics are related to geography. And uh, as it affects by this, including the distribution of population and resources and political and economics activities. So in this case, Geography is just not talk about a uh, water, a uh, forest, a uh, volcano and all of the things. It is also related to people and population. Estamos hablando de los lugares donde nosotros nos asentamos. Um, cuáles son las actividades económicas, eh, los recursos que tenemos, cuáles son los, las partes de estos relieves, verdad, que son los que cambian lo que es la tierra. But I'm going to share with you the description and then we are going to begin with the vocabulary.
So in this description, we have like some example of words that we are going to use in this vocabulary. We have here, uh, for example, atmosphere. Also, we can use earth when we are going to talk about it, these kind of topics. Um, population, it's also another thing that we can use and resources. But also resources is not just like uh, from this uh, topic geography, it is, it has a lot of uh, meanings and also political, economic activities, uh, physical features. And we have like very um, different words in the description of geography. One of the things that we need to know or to keep in mind when we are learning something, um, maybe we can uh, think that I'm not going to use that topic when I'm going to talk with my friends, for example. But it is like funny when you need to use those topics when you are talking with someone on or when you are reading or listening something. When you have like exams uh, in English, when you need to, to have like a grade in that case, and you need to, to listen or to read something um, formal, they use this kind of topics. They use topics related to the geography, uh, medicine, animals, the ocean also. And sometimes we don't have the enough vocabulary to understand the main ideas of those topics. So it is necessary that we create different vocabularies. It is not just to know how to call um, a vegetable in English or to know the names of the colors or something like that. In this case, we can create this kind of vocabulary that we are going to use in real life and in conversation also. So we are going to begin. And in this part, we are going to have the word in English. We are going to have a specification of the word. We can say like the meaning of the word. And then we are going to have the Spanish meaning or the Spanish word. There are three parts. Tres partes vamos a hacer. En la palabra en inglés, ¿qué significa? O un concepto pequeño de la palabra y luego la palabra en español. So we are going to have three things, not just to write a list. In this case, we're going to know what is this word about. So I'm going to insert like a table in which we are going to have first thing A, but I need to take this like this. This we are going to have English, meaning and Spanish. For the Spanish part, you are going to help me. If you know what is that word about, what is the Spanish uh, translation, you can tell me. Don't worry about that. You can tell me, ah, that word is, and you can say the Spanish word. So we are going to begin with the first one that is very easy to understand what is the Spanish word. The first one is atmosphere. Atmosphere. And this one says the envelope of gases surrounding any celestial body. The envelope of gases surrounding any celestials body. Es algo que nos cubre, ¿verdad? Que está lleno de gases y que cubre cualquier cuerpo celeste. Es la, in Spanish, what is this word? Atmosphere. Atmosfera. Good. Atmosfera. Es la atmosfera. 
In this case, uh, the Spanish word is going to be brown or in red because it is working just for the English part. So the second one, Aurora. This is easy. The uh, pronunciation is different in English than in Spanish, but in Spanish is the same. But in English is Aurora. It's kind of weird. But that is the pronunciation, Aurora. And this one means bands of light caused by charged solar particles. Band of light caused by charge solar particles. And this one in Spanish means Aurora. It's different the pronunciation, but it's the same. Aurora and Aurora. Que son esas bandas de luz que eh, son causadas por el partículas solares, ¿verdad? Que se crean en el cielo. Then we have the number three, that is, is basin. Basin. This one, basin. And it says that it is a depression or deep in the earth's surface. A depression or deep in the earth's surface. A depression or deep in the earth surface. What is the um, uh, Spanish translation? What do you think? What it could be? Basin. Es una depresión o una profundidad, ¿verdad? Algo que se hace en la, um, en la superficie de la tierra. Una depresión es un, algo que, que cambia, ¿verdad? La superficie ya no es recta, sino que tiene diferentes formas. ¿Qué sería basin en español? Como un cañón. Um, no, it's different. Una, teacher, como una cuenca o barranco, como comúnmente lo conocemos. Yes, es una cuenca. Good. Cuenca, muy bien. Cuenca, basin, cuenca. Then we have, this one is, I think, it is not going to be like um, very difficult because this one is another word that we can see in, in movies, in name of movies or something like that, that has to be with summer. So we are going to have the next word, bay. What is the bay? What do you think is bay? Bahia. Good, Bahia. That is Bahia in Spanish. The next one is very, very easy and very basic, basic word. So in this case, it is not necessary to think about the, the, the Spanish meaning because you already know when you see the English word. So the next one is
What is the meaning of this very, very difficult word in Spanish? Um, beach. Mm -hmm. This is a playa. Good, playa. That is the meaning of this word, beach. Playa. So at this moment, we have five words related to geography. There are not like very uh, difficult, but we have like some of these words that are not very uh, common for us to see in some uh, things. For example, basin, it is not like a word that we have hear or read a lot of time, but atmosphere is kind of, um, easy to understand what is the meaning in Spanish because it's almost the same. It has like uh, that thing that reminds us of the Spanish word, atmosphere, atmosfera. Then we have aurora that just for the way it is written, we know that in Spanish is aurora. It's la misma escritura with different pronunciation in English. Then a basin that is cuenca. Bay, que es Bahía, is an, another uh, easy word that we can find in, in this kind of movies, as I was saying. The uh, movies that uh, are related to the summer or something like that. Then beach, that is a very basic word also. And we are going to continue with this one. That is biosphere. That also reminds you of the word in Spanish. This one means the regions of the earth where living organisms exist. The regions So in Spanish, this word is biosfera. Good, biosfera. It's almost the same, just with little changes in the way we write in English. But at the end, it reminds us for the Spanish word. So in this case, biosfera. Biosfera. And remember, the Spanish words are going to be like in red because they are just recognizing the English words. Then we have a capital. But in this case, we are not talking about the words because we have the capital letter that is the, the mayuscula. But in this case, we are not talking about words. We are talking about places. In this case, it says that a capital is a city where a region's government is located. And here we are talking about population because we are talking about people and government. I mean, a city where a region's government is located. So this one in Spanish is? Capital, la misma. Capital mismo. is the same, just the pronunciation is different. Capital and capital. There are a lot of words in just, not just in, in English and in Spanish, in a lot of uh, idioms or languages that we can uh, find that they have like the same uh, or almost the same uh, written system or pronunciation or something like that, but they change depending on the region or something like that. And in that case, if we can uh, notice in which words we have almost the same uh, system, we can learn those words in a better way and it is easier for us to complete our learning process. Then this is another one, cavern. 
cavern. That is, in this case, it's funny because we have the word cavern, but in Spanish, we add just one letter to that word. Solo le agregamos una letra y cambia a nuestro significado en español. Caverna. Es caverna. It's almost the same. It's, it's the, the base is the same. Solo le agregamos una letra más y ya tenemos el Spanish meaning. Caverna. But this one is, it says, a large cave or a large chamber in a cave. Es como una cueva larga o es como una habitación, lo podemos decir, ¿verdad? Una cosa así en una, en una a cueva. Pero es, es, como una, es como la parte interna de la montaña. Uh -huh. Es mucho más larga que una pequeña cueva que se puede hacer uh, outside the mountain. In this, in this case, it's inside. Good. Let's cave or a, cham a lower chamber. Chamber in a cave. Una cámara. Then we have another one, and this one is cliff. Cliff. And it says, a step high face of rock. Es como la parte alta o la cara alta de una roca. Step high, face of rock. When we have this kind of um, rocks, we have like a very high rock and we have this part in, in which we can see um, the bottom of the rock, but they are very, very high. And some people like to go there and jump from that uh, places. And in Spanish, this word begins with an A. Comienza con A. Y, se, y le dice, ah, está cerca del A. Abismo? Mm, another one? No. Es una roca bastante alta, pero no es como una montaña o un volcán, sino que es relativamente más pequeño es una mm. sea lo que se refiere pero <laughs> acantilado será Ac ah. yes that word acantilado es como estar a la orilla de esa zona donde podemos ver el fondo pero nos podríamos lastimar si saltamos pero hay muchas personas que les gusta hacer deportes ahí so acantilado Then we have another one that is easy to um, see what is the meaning in Spanish. It is coast. Coast. In this case, if we can see the word coast and the word in Spanish, they have the same letter. So in this case, it is just like change a little bit the order of the letters to create the Spanish word. Coast in Spanish, what is the meaning? Costa. Costa. And you can see costa and coast tienen las mismas letras, solo que en un orden diferente. It's almost the same. So this one is the shore of a sea or ocean. Es la orilla, ¿verdad? Of the sea. or ocean. Next one, continent. That is easy also. And it means one of the large land masses of the earth. One of the largest, or I mean of the large, land masses of the earth. Las excepciones más grandes de tierra de el planeta are the 
Continente. Good, continente. Continente. Next one, cosmography. Cosmography. This one is the science that maps the general features of the universe, not just the earth, the universe. The science that maps the general features of the universe. And this one is cosmografía. Then we have a country. That is another easy one, country. Gracias. Then it says the territory occupied by a nation. Country es pueblo. Mm, bigger? País. Oh, oh país también. Mm -hmm. Es país. Okay. The territory occupied by a nation. This one is país. So in this case, that if you want to have like this kind of vocabulary, it is not necessary that you have all the information that we are uh, writing right now. You can use just the English word and the Spanish word because it's going to be easy. In this case, I am just adding the, uh, the meaning or something like that. But it is not necessary that you have all that information because you are going to have it in the document and you just have to use the vocabulary in English and Spanish because you are going to use it also for tomorrow's uh, game in which you are going to see if you are fast enough to write the words in English. In that case, with the game, remember that you can use it for your um, cell phone. The problem is if you are using your cell phone for uh, the meeting, because in that case it's going to, but in that case you can like, um, yes, I, I think that is going to be like that. Si ustedes usan su teléfono para la clase, o sea, para la sesión, se pueden salir en ese momento que vayamos a hacer like el, el juego para poder entrar a la, al sitio web porque no es una aplicación, no tienen que descargar nada. Solo entran al, al, al sitio web. Yo les voy a mandar un código que ustedes solo lo van a agregar porque no van a buscar ningún otro eh, juego ni nada por el estilo, sino que simplemente van a entrar al... al uh, we can call it, I think, live quiz. Es como un examen en vivo. Eh, in which we are going to see the progress of everyone that is playing in that in that time y eh, ustedes solo van a ir contestando solo son 10 no nos vamos a tomar mucho tiempo like three minutes uh, at least but it's going to be like five minutes in which you are going to uh, enter the website uh, put in your account and something like that and then with the game así que en ese caso si ustedes están utilizando sus dispositivos para la sesión se salen un momento, hacen el juego, luego entran de nuevo a la sesión y vemos los resultados en vivo. That is the, the interesting part of that game, that we are going to see the results in um, live, like the name is saying, a live quiz, because we are going to participate in that uh, activity. It's going to be like a funny, but you need to, to remember the names. And I'm not going to use very difficult names. In this case, I'm going to use like the things that we can remember easily. So remember that. So we are going to continue because uh, time is running. So we are in country and then we have Dale. That is the, sec the next one, Dale. 
let me put the name that is like this no? Dale. This one means an open belly in a hilly area. An open an open belly. In a hilly area. Es como un valle abierto en una área donde hay muchas eh, colinas. In that case, the dale es donde podemos ver esa, esa, ese valle en una área de muchas eh, colinas. Lo podemos llamar de dos formas. Uno es valle y el segundo es cañada. So in this case, podemos decir valle o cañada. Valle o cañada. Then we have this one that in English and Spanish is the same uh, form of, um, of the word. And in this case is delta, delta. Delta is the same in Spanish, delta. So I'm going to write it like this. And this one is a triangular area of alluvial deposits where a river divides. Es una zona triangular donde hay depósitos de agua. In this case, um, alluvial son como depósitos de agua no muy profundos, nada por el estilo, donde un río se divide. So in that case, it's like a triangular part or area of alluvial deposits. Okay, then we have another one. In this case is another one that is kind of easy to um, understand what is the meaning. In this case, desert is this one and desert, I mean, not capital, desert, desert. And we es have- el desierto? Desierto, good. Desierto. And we have like another a word that is the same, uh, also the pronunciation that is desert. But in that case, it's like something related to food. And in this case, it's desert. It's with Z, desert. Desierto. This one is a barren area of landscape where little precipitations occurs. Varying area of landscape of landscape uh, where little precipitation occurs. Básicamente que no llueve o que llueve muy poco. Oh, cheers. Then we are going to have like, yes, we have time for maybe 10 words more. And then we are going to have like, mm, Another one's tomorrow, and then we are going to have like a conversation because we are going to hear a conversation related to this topic. We are going to practice and we are going to have the game. So in that case, tomorrow we are not going to see a lot of words. 
we are just uh, going to end with the vocabulary because we are going to do more things. Today we are going to have like many words and tomorrow we are going to do other things. So we are going to continue with this one because we're going to write like 10 words more, I think, because we have like nine minutes or something like that. So then we have do, do this one. And this one is water that has condensed on a cool surface overnight. Depend, uh, reading or listening the meaning of do, we know that what is this meaning, so. Give me a moment to write water that has condensed on a cool on a cold surface overnight. This um, water is, I mean. Es como rocío. No. Good, es el rocío. Mm -hmm. Es que uh, lo relacioné con uh, night dew. Uh -huh. Ajá. El rocío. Yes, in that case, is that kind of water that we have overnight, que son esas gotitas, ¿verdad? Que durante la noche se van condensando. No se congelan, porque dice cold surface, pero no se congelan, se mantienen ahí. Y es lo que nosotros encontramos por la mañana en formas de gotas, el rocío. So in Spanish, rocío. Then we have another one. We have June. June. That in Spanish is duna. Duna. But what is a duna? La duna es la que está en el desierto, ¿no? Es como en las partes de arena. Mm -hmm. Very good. Esas mismas. A ridge of sand created by the wine. Son esos, eh, podemos llamar los grupos de arena que se forman por el viento en el desierto. Very good. By the wind. Then we have this one here. This is a natural race area of land, not as high or craggy as a mountain. It's high, but not too high. And this is heel. What is in Spanish heel? No es tan alto como una montaña, pero sí es alto. ¿Qué puede ser alto, pero no tan alto? Un cerro. Cerros, teacher. Cerro. <laughs> sí, pero los conocemos también como lomas o colinas. Muy bien. Natural race area of land. Not as high. As a mountain. And we have here a loma or colina. Good. We have here, this one is easy also because the pronunciation. Island. Island. Isla. Isla. In this one, we are not going to pronounce the S, the sound of the S disappear in the pronunciation of this word. 
island nor Iceland in this case, because it's a sound different island. This one is a piece of land surrounded by water. What is it pronounced? Island. No, no, it's Iceland. No, in this case, we are not going to pronounce the S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Island. Good, island. Island. By water. Es una pieza, una parte, una, una pieza o un espacio de tierra que está rodeado por agua. And I think two more, just two more. Because we have like four minutes to end the session. This one, golf, is an arm of a sea or ocean partly enclosed by land. Es un, como un brazo, le podemos decir, de el mar o el océano que está particularmente. Es el, es el Golfo. Good. The, el famoso Golfo de México. Ajá. Uh -huh. I mean, Golfo. That's correct. An arm of a sea or ocean partly enclosed by land. And the last one, this is going to be the last one. Yes. We have a here, hail, this one. This is a precipitation of ice pellets. Precipitation of ice pellets. Es una precipitación de hielo. ¿Cómo lo conocemos? Una precipitación que cae hielo del cielo. Granizo, teacher. Good, granizo. Hail es el granizo. En este caso, granizo. Que son esas bolitas, ¿verdad? O trozos de hielo que caen desde las nubes. So, in this case, we have here a lot of words. We have like two, three... Twenty one, twenty one words almost, I think. So in that case, we have like this kind of vocabulary. There are not a lot of words because in this case we have, don't have a fifteen or something like that. But we are going to have like I think almost a thirty uh, words. In this case, we have twenty one, and I'm going to add right now this uh, table to the other document in which you can see the words in your uh, devices because I'm going to add that information because you need it for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we are going to uh, end this part of the vocabulary. Then we are going to have a practice. And at the end, we are going to have the game. So tomorrow I will tell you what is the website that we are going to use for the game. And also tomorrow um, in the session, you are going to have the um, the the code and you can see someone that has finished the game but it was me because i was practicing or seeing if the um, the game was functioning well so we are going to see each other tomorrow and we are going to have a lot of interesting things so have a really good night and see you tomorrow excuse me teacher Tell me. uh we'll send to link uh, on the whatsapp Tomorrow. I, ah, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I okay. will send you in the session. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good See night. Tomorrow. Good night. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.